Not bad. Could Varian be good against full shield team? Yeah, he has shield breaker. That's kind of pretty. That's as hard counter as shields as he gets. the land of the shielded people the shield breaker is king same same i pray you are ready friend doesn't terry get judgment in this game see me coming. Mm -hmm. i mean he could we'll see see i don't like this game because we, we're outranged so Jin hanzo outranges us significantly or i don't like the way this game looks which means we're gonna have to take a lot of damage every time we go in before we can even deal damage. Also, this turret has around level 1. It's not looking good. And also, my Phoenix has around level 1. Oh god. Yikes. map has the best design in haunts. I don't know. I don't think there's one map that just straight up has the best design. A little bit too subjective and design also changes with time and heroes release. Like before Hanzo was released, everyone loved Curse Hollow. A lot of people thought Curse Hollow was the most balanced map. <laughs> After Hanzo got released, Curse Hollow became the most unbalanced piece of shit ever, so. Depends. Most pros. Oh, I shouldn't even say that. Oh, shit. Get ready to free them. Not even most pros, but a lot of pros enjoy, I guess, some um, towers. There's a, definitely some pros that don't like towers too, though, so I wouldn't say it's definitively the best one. Choose a 
tower. We've secured the cage. We have to unlock it again if we want this tower. Yeah, I think you need that. I think there's a meta now. I mean, there's definitely some sort of a meta. There's heroes that are better and worse than others. I don't think it's as clearly defined as when I was pro play, but... It's me I'd say it's mainly remnants of the old metas. The old pro metas. A minute since I played Tracer? Yeah, it's been a long time since I played Tracer. The TSYX account? I've been playing that, that account for like two weeks or something, maybe more. It didn't have a lot of heroes, didn't have Tracer, so. Maybe it did. Well, if it did, I don't know, Tracer is just a niche pick. You don't really want to play it unless you have Tazadar or like a really good lineup with a heavy wave clear and a good healer. And it's Hero League, so no one, no one ever picks wave players. So no one's never get to play it. No one picks Tassadar either. Or it's too weak. Should buff her base damage back? Probably not. Tracer is pretty toxic when she's good. I'd rather be her be situationally very rarely good than always broken as shit. Because at the end of the day, she's a really easy hero to play. There's not much skill involved. So I, th I think when heroes like that become overpowered too easily, it's pretty stupid. It's like Zeratul right now. There's really not that much skill involved in Q-Build Zeratul especially. And it's broken. It's pretty stupid. My hero requires the most skill? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. I mean, theoretically, Vikings probably does, but. 
or nah. I mean, Vikings just has the highest skill cap. I don't really know which hero requires the most skill. Have to think about it. Like shooting orcs in a battle. Take that. She is a talent. Sancton Graviton, dude, this Terio next level. He knew the Zarya would pick the boost it all. I respect that. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Oh my god, I went into four range. Holy crap, the sun just went down. The room looks so much darker now. It's gonna look normal soon. Yeah, I think Medivh is the... Uh, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say Medivh is like the highest skill cap or anything. But Medivh definitely requires a hell of a lot more skill than uh, heroes like Tracer or Zeratul. Q builds Zeratul. Same with Illidan, yeah. Illidan requires a lot more skill than Tracer or Kubo's Terra as well. Yeah. But then, in Illidan's case, it's just his numbers are pretty weak, so that's why he requires skill. Not necessarily his kit is hard, it's just his kit is hard when his numbers are that weak. bomb him but my Q got rooted. Whatever, good thing Tracer charges a bomb back in like five seconds. I looked into that. Yeah, a lot more damage at 16 though. Slash shields. You remember when I had eyes? Me too. Me too. I mean, I still have eyes. I just thought the sunglasses filter was pretty appropriate for the stream, so I've been doing it a lot more. I kind of want to kill this guy for doing that. Oh, so close, dude. Fudge. 
I should have auto attacked one more second. Almost got him through the B step. Or because of the B step. Yes! Time to show them what the Storm Pikes can do! Uh, yeah. I don't know if I said this right, but Tyrael, Tyrael is probably the most skill intensive tank in my opinion. I agree with that. Like, I think Diablo is a pretty skill intensive tank too, but the thing is his numbers are like so much better than Tyrael's. So, um, not really that skill intensive because um, his numbers are just too high. But if his numbers were lower, then his kit I think is actually pretty skill intensive. I guess skill is relative. Because, like, Tracer can be a high skill hero. If you don't have a Tassadar or a good heal healer, then it's pretty freaking hard to play Tracer. I mean, I guess it would. I guess skill is just. Skill cap of a hero is pretty relative to their. Their numbers, their power level. <laughs> 